Less than three months after arriving in Qatar, Suresh Kumal's world has come crashing down. When the massive earthquake shook Nepal, his house collapsed, bearing his two-year-old daughter, Shrishti, with it. It's a homecoming that he never imagined. The image of my daughter running to buy sweets is playing in my mind. On the one hand, I have to fight the pain of not having her anymore, and on the other, deal with the loss of a home. It's just been two and a half months since I left. I've not even started paying my loans. Suresh is from a village in central Nepal. Thousands of men from his district have been working in the Middle East and Malaysia, most of them as laborers. Suresh's construction company has given him one month's leave and a one-way ticket home. When he returns, he will have to pay them back. The loss of work time and the 24% on his loan are weighing him down. After six hours, Suresh finally reaches his village. Almost all its houses have been reduced to rubble. This is Suresh's older daughter, four-year-old Rosie. These are Suresh's family, father, mother, wife and sisters. Two-year-old Shrishti was just sleeping around here when the earthquake happened and her grandmother was the only one around. It took almost two hours for everyone to gather to dig out um, the baby and by the time they took her to the hospital, they pronounced her dead. <laughs> Suresh's wife, Sumina, was with their older daughter, washing clothes on a riverbed when the earthquake hit. She can't even bring herself to say that her daughter is dead. She just keeps saying she's sleeping. I don't know how I made it back home. When I got back, my daughter was in the field, sleeping. It rained all day. We waited with her in the rain. In the evening, they took her away. But even during this grief, Sumina knows she has to be practical. He has to go back, she says. They have crippling loans. He has to earn, and she says she'll take care of the house. But Suresh is concerned. What if the company does not call me back? My home is in ruins. I won't be able to go anywhere else to work. What would I do? Suresh had taken these pictures with him to Qatar. Now they are the only ones the family has. Once he goes back to work, Suresh says, he will be able to send enough money to rebuild this house. But he says no amount of money will help him fill the void in his heart. Subina Shrestha, Al Jazeera, Dhading District, Nepal.